Okay. Okay. Take two. I'm not doing Okay, my name is Andy Joseph. I'm a councilman from the Nespelum District, and I'm chairman of the planning committee for our tribe. On my planning committee, I have chairmen of other committees that work with me. We plan for the development of our reservation. We're directly responsible for the coordination of the programs that we have here on the reservation. And uh, my committee members are Al Auberton, who is from the councilman from the Keller District and chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. All are planning on roads and development of water sewage and whatever is directly coordinated with him through his committee. Uh, Ernie Clark is a finance chairman who have you just you just heard. Whenever there's money needed to match from the tribe, we have we go through him and the finance committee. We have Jude Stanger, Jude Stensker from the Nespelum district, I mean from the Inchlam district, on my committee, who has been a past chairman of Law and Order, and uh, works pretty much with us on community development plans in his district. Dale Kohler, the chairman of Law and Order, is a member of my committee, and you just heard from him. Glenn Whitelaw, the chairman of Land and Forestry, is also a committee member. I use him uh, on mining, on timber development, and things of that sort. We. Uh, have some priorities in our planning committee for community development in each of the districts and for the economic development of the whole reservation. And you'll be hearing from the other committee chairmen that serve on my committee. So I won't go into each of the different priorities we have because they fit every committee that we have on the tribal council. But as far as uh, going out after federal programs and things like that to create more jobs, we do as much of this as we can for both the employment and educational benefits of our tribal members. We do a lot of uh, tourist type planning. We try to preserve as much of our culture as we can the agricultural development and things like that are gone through this committee. So I'll, I'll leave it at that and let each of the committee chairmen give a report on their own committees. Yes, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm Al Albert and I represent the um, Keller District and also the Chairman of Ways and Means and uh, those people that are on my committee are Andy Joseph, Virgil Gunn and Jude Stensgar. Uh, we are charged with um, overseeing road construction, maintenance and um, within, within the reservation boundaries. Uh, we have a maintenance program and recently purchased a new backhoe and uh, cat. And uh, these people do maintenance work for tribal members on the reservation at no cost to them. Septic tanks and drain fields and other things. Uh, we also work uh, directly with the BIA Roads Division and uh, with the uh, new uh, Keller or the new uh, Inchlim, there's a new ferry at, at the Inchlim, in the Inchlim area that uh, 
that we work closely with BIA, BIA on. It's under the jurisdiction of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. We also work with housing with the HIP program. And uh, HIP is a program that um, we have crews that uh, go out and renovate um, tribal members' homes, those that elderly people and others. We also have a, um, a septic uh, pumper that pumps uh, septic tanks and other things uh, for these members. Uh, we work with uh, PHS, uh, with the PHS, which is Public Health Service, in, in uh, construction contracts, sewerage, like uh, we putting a new uh, sewer system here. Our PHS is funding a new sewer system for the, for the you know, Spielum District. We um, have a new water system that was funded partially by PHS in the Keller District and partially by PHS in Bureau Reclamation in the Keller and the um, Inchlim District. Also, um, I'm also the employment chairman, and we work um, off reservation within <coughs> um, with different organizations, um, Corps of Engineers, uh, um, uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs, and other people in obtaining jobs for for Indian people, um, especially in minority hiring. We find that um, most uh, governmental agencies um, don't have too many, uh, very many um, Indian em employees. Uh, with that, I believe um, I'll end my statement. Thank you. I'm Glenn Whitelaw, Chairman of the Land and Forestry Committee, and I have uh, Dave Stanger, Ernie Clark, and Sam Sampson as other members of the committee. We consider and make recommendations to the full business council on the following. Uh, first is the forestry practices, uh, which is mainly timber sales. Uh, we have a great need here for foresters. I believe that we've only had three or four Colville tribal members that have uh, graduated from forestry. And I believe that only one is working for the tribe at the present time. Uh, we also consider range permits, and there also is a need for range conservationists. We uh, permit or sell permits to approximately 10,000 head of cattle each year. We uh, consider land leases, uh, mining prospecting permits and leases. There's also a real need for mining geologists. We have just hired, or the BIA has just hired one Colville member as a mining geologist, and we will have need for another one uh, soon because of the increased mining interest here. We also consider land purchases and land sales. And there is a great need for land appraisers here. We uh, consider rights of ways over tribal lands. We handle the land operations department, which has, uh, or they do weed spraying. And there's a need for agricultural technical assistance here. We also handle surveying. There's also a great need for licensed surveyors. We administer the water code, and we also act as the board of directors for the various tribal enterprises. Of those, there is timber stand improvement. Uh, Clarence Holford, who is the graduate forester, heads this department up. Uh, he needs foresters uh, in his program also. There is the post plant the Logan Enterprise, and the Cattle Ranch Enterprise. Uh, I guess that's about all we take care of. Thank you.
Uh, Virgil? Okay. No. She's next class, I guess. Uh, he's going to be on Fish and Wildlife. Uh, yeah. Eugene uh, Nugent, he's the acting chairman of uh, Fish and Wildlife. Okay. okay. My name is Eugene Nugent. I'm a member of the Fish and Wildlife Committee. We've got <coughs> numerous lakes and streams on our reservation. On our present time, we're, our game biologist is a non-Indian, and our fish biologist is a non-Indian, and um, we really need them. And um, we eventually plan on putting in a hatchery, which we're going to need physiologists. We're going to need game biologists and uh, fish biologists. For we got the Columbia River and we got all these numerous lakes and streams. And it's a wide open field. Thank you. Easier. I'm Virgil Gunn, Chairman of the Health Education and Welfare Committee. First of all, a, a general overview of the entire committee uh, in the field of health and welfare, the tribe has come a long way in the last five years in, in the area of, of, of health, creating not only new programs but new jobs specifically for our tribal members to fill. At this point in time, we feel that there is a critical need for our young people to get training and uh, college degrees in a lot of related health fields. In the area of, of Indian health, for example, uh, there is a, a critical need for in Indian doctors, mental health workers, social workers, and uh, dental, as well as lab technicians, for example. Uh, Mr. Conley, who was our service unit director, will emphasize and go more into, de into detail the, uh, the area of Indian health and the need uh, to fill a lot of those higher positions with our young tribal members. One of our big areas is the area of welfare. We have an Indian Community Action Program, for example, which under that program consists many programs to serve uh, our people from, uh, from youth to uh, the older years. For example, we have a senior senior uh, feeding program. We have a senior transportation program primarily designed to meet the needs of those particular people on the reservation. At the same time, we do not have uh, qualified trained people in the areas of counseling and uh, administration uh, to fill a lot of those top positions. We have a, a generous scholarship program, which each year we uh, we award uh, travel scholarships to a lot of our young people. And the, one of the main reasons for this presentation is to make them aware of all of the uh, of all the careers that uh, are needed and are uh, being created here on the reservation. I think that uh, two years ago the tribe took over a, a, a uh, mission school which is now Pasco Sherman Indian School. The entire staff is made up, the entire teaching staff is made up of, of non-Indian people. There is another area that we feel that needs to be filled by, by our, our tribal members and a need for them to get degrees in education. I think that overall, I think that uh, in all of the committees are emphasizing a need for our young people to prepare themselves for the proper careers of their interest, as well as making themselves aware of all of the careers that are available on the reservation in all of the programs, tribal as well as 
as uh, within the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Thank you. My name is uh, Shirley Palmer. I'm chairman of the Enrollment Committee. I have uh, three Enrollment Committee members also on my committee. That's Roy Saylor, Dave Stenskar, and Virgil Gunn. The main uh, responsibility of this committee is to consider all enrollment cases, including adoptions. The committee uh, does a considerable amount of research of all records, census rolls, personal files, probate files, and so forth. We also act on appeals regarding enrollment, disenrollment, and blood corrections, which requires quite a, a lot of research. We do family trees for individuals also upon request. At the present time, we have a staff of three, the enrollment officer, a clerk, and a file clerk. And each must have a knowledge of computer programming and coding. They must also have uh, typing and filing experience, so we would like to stress that as a possible career. Our present membership consists of approximately 5,791, which is subject to change almost monthly due to deaths and newborns. So at this time, I'll conclude my presentation and rely on the staff to go into detail more on what is the functions of the enrollment staff is. Thank you. I think before we uh, complete this, I'd like to have include uh, Melton Ascott, who is the uh, president of the National Congress of American Indians, and as he works with the national uh, group, I think he finds some of these needs in certain education fields that uh, he could bring out at this time. Mal Okay. My name is Mal Tanaskett. I'm a councilman from the OMAC district. Um, presently the vice chairman of the Tribal Business Council. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, to report to the membership that uh, this is the first year that the vice chairman of the Business Council has been a full-time position to work hand-in-hand -hand with the chairman who has uh, a large amount of paperwork and uh, correspondence that has to be uh, reviewed and, and drafted to answer questions and reports uh, um, throughout all the United States. Also, I've been uh, delegated the responsibility by the chairman to uh, be responsible for the administration of the tribal uh, offices, uh, to work very closely with our executive director Mel White, who is in charge of all the staff and uh, the coordination of the programs under the, the uh, tribal administration. The national office that I hold is the president of the National Congress of American Indians. I've started my um, third year with the National Congress, which has an office in Washington, D.C., and whose prime responsibility is for lobbying and keeping track of legislation that is going to affect Indians nationally. It's also our responsibility in the National Congress of American Indians to keep on top of the situations uh, that are happening in the administration and the executive branch of government and to lend whatever sort of organized support we can to those tribes that are in difficulties, whether it be legislative difficulties, uh, uh, litigation, or whatever the problems m might be. One of the jobs that I've taken on to myself as president of, of the National Congress is to travel the country to the tribes, particularly the poorer tribes in isolated areas, to see what the national organization can, can do to assist the, the poor uh, tribes, but I have not uh, ignored those tribes that are fairly well organized and fairly well developed. And what I found, I think, 
nationally is is a real drastic need for people to to educate themselves in the fields that are really necessary for the survival of our reservations and our people. I've noticed that we have an abundance of people going to school f with music majors and physical education majors. But in fact, what we need are people who have degrees in hydrology, geology, business administration, uh, the legal backgrounds, uh, professional planners, everything that, that is required to, to manage and, and develop a good government uh, for the people of whatever tribe it is. We found within the National Congress of American Indians that about every tribe in this country is short of those expertises that uh, we really require to do a good job for ourselves. So in turn we have to go out into the outside world I, I guess would be a good enough phrase for it, but we have to go out and hire white people to come to reservations that basically don't have any experience or background working with Indians and don't understand the 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 cultural uh, priorities, the the heritage of our people, and so they a lot of times shortchange the tribes in their efforts to develop themselves properly. I would hope that the young people watching this program will really take it seriously that we need people in all fields, not just those courses that are easy to get through college on and easy to get a degree on. I know that there's been a lot of complaints wherever I've went from tribal members on any reservation that I've been to about the tr tribal governments of those respective reservations having so many white people working for them. Well, the fact is that there's not that many Indians who have bothered to get the degrees and those things that are necessary. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but to me it's extremely important. I think one area that we really have to to develop ourselves in and we just have hardly anybody in is also in political science backgrounds because all of the programs that you've heard reported on here today and then you'll get reports from the directors of the different programs all of these are funded or most of them are funded by federal programs and those federal programs are authorized by legislative action through the United States Congress and yet there's very few people who have bothered to get an educational background on what that political process is. And we have to learn it the hard way, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of money. I could go on a lot more about those sort of problems, but I think that I've said about enough at this time. Thank you. The, this tri tribal council here, the committee assignments are all very important because they do all the tribal government uh, business. Every bit of it is done by by the elected officials that are sitting at the at this table, and we have to uh, consider everything and take action on these things. And one of the um, important things is to have that right training uh, to keep our natural resources. Public relations is another uh, phase that uh, I think that uh, we, we uh, people that we do not have trained, and that's in TV and, and press. Also, like we're planning on a sawmill. We need managers and uh, the, those type of people, engineers. And uh, if you're in high school, are in grade school and 
and are viewing uh, the statements that uh, had just been made. Even if you don't like English, I, I would say English is one of the priority things if you are going to go to uh, college. Because if you don't have that one subject and have uh, cheated on it a little, you may not reach college. The other is math. If you want to be a doctor or if you want to be a nurse, if you uh, didn't take math, physics, and chemistry. When the time comes, well, you cannot follow the career that you wanted. So high school and uh, going into college is very important. So if um, the students would prepare in high school, you can make it in college. That, I think, is about all I would have to say about this program. Thank you. and the Finance Committee. They have Jude Stanger, Jude Stensker from the Nespelum district, I mean from the Inchlam district on my committee, who has been a past chairman of Law and Order and uh, works pretty much with us on community development plans in his district. Dale Kohler, the chairman of Law and Order, is a member of my committee and you just heard from him. My name is Andy Joseph. I'm a councilman from the Nespelum District, and I'm chairman of the planning committee for our tribe. On my planning committee, I have chairmen of other committees that work with me. We plan for the development of our reservation. We're directly responsible for the coordination of the programs that we have here on the reservation. And uh, my committee. Oh, I'm cut. Cut. Take two. I'm not doing one right now. I'm going to go get you at work. Yeah. Okay. So then, like, the camera isn't going to work. Okay, my name members are Al Auberton, who is from the councilman from the Keller District and chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. All are planning on roads and development of water sewage and whatever is directly coordinated with him through his committee. Uh, Ernie Clark is a finance chairman, who have you just you just heard. Whenever there's money needed to match from the tribe, we have we go through him. Glenn Whitelaw, the chairman of Land and Forestry, is also a committee member. I use him uh, on mining, on timber development, and things of that sort. We uh, have some priorities in our planning committee for community development in each of the districts and for the economic development of the whole reservation.